Alright guys, how's it going? Uh, I have the tractor over at the garage today. And you can say it's the start of the repairs or upgrades. Well it's kind of a repair upgrade video. Because the spotlights in the back of the tractor, I said I had them and I'm gonna be putting them on now today. Now I know I said I want to keep everything original. Now I'm not going down the LED route for now. We'll see how these turn out. But these are lights off uh, New Holland. TM, I think it was. I got them off. And um, the, as far as I remember, there was a serious light out with them when they were on that tractor. So they're going on this tractor now. I'm going to see what they're like. And if they're as impressive as I remember them, I'll put them two in the front as well. Because a lot of you know these older tractors and the lights are they're like candles. So yeah. Um, I'm going to put on the spotlights here now, I'm going to record as much of it as I can, I'm not going to record it all and see how it goes. Probably do a time lapse of me fitting the first light and go from there. Right, so guys, before I get going, there are the lights. I uh, have a screw nearly out of that one because I have to take it apart to get into the guts of it for the wires are. And I'm hoping it's basically just going to be bolt on, plug and play, and see how it goes. So I said I would do a time lapse. Of fitting the first light and then after that we'll work on it. Okay. Right, so we have the old light off, that's what's left of it. Um, I had to cut the spare connections on it to get out through the hole in the back of that. But that's no good now, so we we'll get this one open so we can get into the back of this one. See exactly which connections are the right ones I need. You know, I have any amount in there, so it should be okay. We got a spider. Wait. Put the wire through there and connect that inside. So yeah, back in a few minutes I have this fit on the tractor. So guys, I have the first light on and I'll tell you one thing, it looks better than I thought it was going to look because the old square shaped light I took off, as you see there, is the one on this side. And that one that side is the one off the new island. And few different modifications but not major just put different connections on the wires at the back and it worked so I am going to fit the second light now and uh, I might just show you what I'm doing when I'm doing it right so guys I'm up here at the tractor and there's the TM light and here is the old KS light as you can see on this bracket there is a clip here for a handle here change the handle around and it moves light but don't really use it so I might just eliminate that but first of all we'll try to move this clip just like that that's gone we'll move that fold that down and we have to go out the front of the light to get into the wires so bear with me so guys as you can see this light was in very rough shape so I would be replacing that and replacing the surrounding red and all that so yeah I don't know how I'm going to record this but we'll see how it goes anyway right one of the connectors won't go through the back of the oil light so I'll just clip it off I have a half a new connectors there so I'll just put new connectors on the end of that new and just connect into the new light so basically I don't know what way this video is turning out probably going to be tried but as you can see, I'm going up and down the ladder to do the work. Not easy for them, but I feel them what I can. Um, so, just bring you up here now and just show you how this is going to work. As you can see, there's a connector there that won't come out. So, 
Yeah. Give this clip. Break it off. And there we are. Now I put see I have plenty of wire there, so I put two new connectors on that. And might even leave that one if it'll work for me. But yeah, go from that to there. Right, so as you guys can see, the wire's coming out. You see the that one there came through the back of the light, no problem, and I had to cut the plastic piece off that one. But I have a spare connector here that will fit onto the wire of the bulb that will be up on that. And that should work perfect. When I have all this together, I will show you again. Right, you can see the connector onto that wire there. And I don't know what I'm going to do this now, but. Right, then two wires connected. So before I put on this back on there, just gonna make sure that was working. And as you can see, it is working. So put everything back together there now and I'll show you the final result. Two lights on, two lights working. Right so guys, I have two lights on. I'm going to try them here now, make sure two of them are still working after fitting them. As a lot of you know, things don't go to plan, but I'm hoping everything goes to plan here. So, yeah. Doo -doo -doo. We have an issue. So, I may have a look at this. Right, guys, there was a little bit of a problem with the wire that was in the wrong spot. Well, not in the wrong spot, but I had in mind light one wire switched off another. So, I had one dull light and no light there, but if you look there, light there and light there. So, a successful job, I will say. Um, now, if them lights done, I'm happy with them, so I'm more than likely going to do the two front lights. Now, that's all I'm going to do with the tractor for today because a few other things going on, that's why it's not taking nearly all day to do that job. Saturday earlier on and we had to go do something else and go back I had to go do something else but I don't know what way this video is going to turn out but sure guys I am on the last 10 I'm in the last 10 subscribers to get to 1k uh, I'm at 993 I think when I'm recording this come on guys to get this video to get me to 1k I really really appreciate it thanks guys